Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and due to the large amount of requests, today we are going to be looking at how to downgrade your iPhone 5, 4S, and multiple other devices to iOS 8.4.1 from either iOS 10 or iOS 9. Now, luckily in 2018, the downgrade process for the iPhone 5, as well as the iPhone 4S and basically everything else is super simple. It will not work on the 5C because the iPhone 5C never ran iOS 6. I did it slightly differently for the iPhone 5 versus the 4s but I'm, I'm not sure if you can kind of interchange them it's pretty much the same thing and I'll get to the difference when we come to it but I'll be showing it on the iPhone 5 everything I do on the iPhone 5 will be applying for the 4s so yeah let's get right into this now you are going to need to be jailbroken so there's tons of stuff on the internet of how to do that you can figure it out for yourself I think I have done tutorials in the past but regardless uh, once you're jailbroken come back here and we can continue so essentially what we're gonna be doing is tricking the phone into thinking that it's on iOS iOS 6 again, and then that'll trigger an over-the-air update to iOS 8. It's actually a very, very easy process because there's a tweak that'll do everything for us. So once you're on your iPhone 5 and jailbroken, you're going to want to head over to Cydia. Then you're going to want to go to Sources, Edit, Add, and then add repo.ftios.vn. You're going to wait for that to install. and then go to the ftios.vn source and install downgrade iOS 10.x to 8.x. Now just wait for this to install and then make sure you reboot your device after. So now this is the only difference really. On the iPhone 4S, instead of choosing the first option there, you're going to want to choose the second option, which is downgrade iOS 10.x comma 9.x. Now you might be able to do the iPhone 5 on that one as well, I haven't tried it. Doesn't really matter, but uh, anything other than the iPhone 5 or iPad 4, you're going to need to use the second one. So it's pretty simple. And after that, the downgrade process is exactly the same. So that's pretty nice. So now we'll wait for our device to boot back up. Once it does, you're gonna to wanna to go into your settings, into general, software update, and you should see 8.4.1 pop up. So just go ahead and hit install. Now updating does take a while. It took me like 20 minutes or so. I don't know if that's normal, but just expect it to take a long time. Now it's gonna do stuff, and what's important here is that after it installs iOS 8.4.1, you're gonna to wanna to go back into settings, general, reset, and erase all content and settings. This will just make sure everything is done properly. And now you'll come to the setup screen for iOS 8. Just go ahead and fill everything through. I'm sure you know how to set up an iPhone. And once you're done, congratulations, you are now on iOS 8.4.1. Now this should have worked for the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, any 32-bit device on iOS 9 or iOS 10. And if you messed something up, maybe go back and see what I did. Hopefully this wasn't a confusing tutorial. I'm, I don't do tutorials very often so I apologize if it is. If you're wanting to see how to downgrade to iOS 6, I did a video earlier this year, and it's only for the iPhone 4S and certain models of the iPad 2, but if you're curious, I'll have a link in the description below. Some of you are probably wondering why this video happened at all. It's kind of out of the blue. There were a lot of requests for it earlier in the year, but I never actually did it till now because I'm lazy. And the reason is, well, you'll see in a day or two when I upload that video. Let's just say uh, it should be a very fun time for everybody but me. Uh, if you want a sneak peek, you can go over to my Twitter or Instagram where I announced it a little bit early. And with that all being said, I'm done for this video. If this at all helped you out, maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.